in the UK and you kind of think, hmm, I kind of want to fly somewhere beyond where EasyJet, Ryanair, or the low-cost carriers fly, uh, or I want to go bit, uh, travel more often for a lot less, and you think, hmm, nah, not possible. Well, did you actually know there's actually many ways to do with it and uh, to make it happen? Well, let's, let's find out how. <laughs> Hey guys, how are you guys doing? Uh, if you're new to my channel, my name is Matthew Tasker. Welcome. Uh, this is my channel, Matt Nav. And we're most, I mainly focus here on cinematic travel videos, uh, showing you guys the cool places I go as I go around the world, uh, giving you guys tips on how you guys can do it as well using various methods, uh, whether that's miles and points, um, you know, travel hacking, uh, you know, flight deals, all that stuff. And yeah, just all about having fun around the world. If you want to uh, see more of my content and uh, not miss anything, be sure to subscribe to my channel and just click on the notification bell next to it. So British Airways and their Avios uh, loyalty uh, point system is actually often a misunderstood program, but I want to show you there's plenty of ways to both earn them very easily and also you know, use them very efficiently. Here are the top five ways you can both earn and redeem your British Airways Avios and get the most value out of them. And to give a little uh, twist to the story, I'm going to invite my friend Jack, Hello. who lives out up in the UK, and he's going to give us his uh, take on it as he's a re relative newcomer to the Miles and Points game. So without further ado, let's get started. So to kick things off, we're going to start with earning, and uh, there's plenty of ways to earn your Avios uh, through very unconventional means. And actually, I'd say the first and easiest option is very simple, is Tesco. Basically, whenever I go and buy petrol, you get, I think it's one point per two pounds you spent. I just checked the terms and conditions on that. So you don't get um, one point per pound you spend on petrol, which is a bit annoying. And you just scan your club card every time you go. And when you shop in store, do your normal weekly shop, it's worth doing. I shop there anyway. Tesco club card points are some of those valuable uh, shopping currencies out there because they convert to both British Airways Avios, which is the, uh, yeah, or Virgin Atlantic Flight Club. You earn 600 Avios per £2.50 voucher transfer. Um, so if you think about it, literally, if you're a family of four and you spend like uh, 200 quid a, a week at Tesco, uh, or whatever how much you spend, plus petrol, all that combined, within a year you've got like 25,000 Avios just from your shopping spend. Just by tapping this little thing on the till every time you go. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Definitely worth doing. Number two is the most underused one in the world, I can't believe not many people use this, is shopping portals and cashback websites, specifically topcashback.co.uk. So you go here, this is the British Airways e-store, uh, where you can go to various different online retailers, and especially this is a shopping portal. You just have to condition yourself, every time you go shopping online, you go through this portal, and you get so, tons of different retailers, so you've got uh, Marks and Spencers, Car phone, warehouse, train lines, so you can go book your train tickets and then earn three Avios for every pound spent. Uh, I don't know if you ever heard about that, Jack. No, I haven't. I've, but I've booked quite a lot of trains recently as well, so I wish I knew about yeah. that. Uh, Hotels.com, have you ever used them? Yeah, I use that a lot as well. So, so four, four pounds for, for Avios per pound spent. Oh, wow. I've actually used those both in the past month. Here's top cashback. So especially it's a cashback portal. Uh, so just, just like, like a BA shopping portal, you can go through there. So basically the way you see it is if... Avios has a not as good offer as shop cashback. You want to go through these guys because from back you can convert this into Avios. Oh, wow, that's pretty good. Number three is actually a combination, and the reason why I say that is because there's a very recent addition as of uh, 2019, and that's because you can both earn uh, Avios both from hotel stays when you use sites like Rocket Miles, uh, Caligo. There's all these different sites that give you extra uh, Avios when you stay with them, or rather when you book your hotels through them. Uh, you can also earn through Marriott Bonvoy uh, when you stay at Marriott hotels and then transfer those to British Airways at a 3 to 1 ratio. Uh, but also the coolest thing actually now is British Airways as of this year la launched in a partnership with Airbnb. So a fun fact is when you uh, sign up for that for the first time, if you've never used Airbnb, uh, you go through the British Airways link below, uh, you actually get a, I think it was 500 Avios bonus, and then you also earn three Avios per pound spent, and you actually earn those uh, just from going to regular Airbnb stays. Number four is well, quite an underrated one, and one I think one of the coolest ways is actually the American Express uh, membership rewards cards, and specifically the, the preferred rewards gold card. This, this is probably why I said recommend be the best, the best uh, beginner's card because you earn 10,000 membership rewards points uh, just from spending £3,000 within the first three months and the best part is the annual fee is free wait in the first year so your first year is free and if you don't like it after your first year you can just cancel it within uh, the first 12 months 
And the reason why you want AVEX points is very simple, is because AVEX points are transferable and actually yeah. transfer to Arios instead using a uh, one to one ratio, as you can see here, uh, as well as other various airlines. So basically, you earn 10,000 point, AVEX points, then you transfer those to British Airways, and then you can pull that in with the rest of your points to make a bigger uh, pool, uh, points pool. Uh, yeah, so, uh, okay, quite a lot then. Yeah, uh, quite a lot. <laughs> I've got a BA Amex card at the moment, which I'm collecting some points on. BA uh, British Airways in the UK has two uh, variants of the American Express cards. So, Jack, you have the blue one, right? Yep, I've got the blue one. Just covering yeah. up my number there. Yeah, there you no, go. No, that's fine. Yeah. So, yeah. So you have the blue card, which is free, uh, has no annual fee, uh, or at least it's a, it's a small annual fee, or is it no annual fee? It's no annual fee. No I'm a student, so I can't really afford an annual fee. So yeah. I'm trying to get as cheap as I possibly can. The one I have, which is the American Express Platinum card, which is my little baby, which I use here in France. Uh, so if you sign up for that, that's 30,000 uh, Alex points, which you can earn straight away. Uh, but you have to spend 4,000 points within 4,000 point pounds in the first three months. And finally for number five, it's actually the car rental. So when you book with the company Avis and you go through the specific uh, British Airways portal site, you actually earn Avios uh, for just renting a car for the day or whatever for your whole trip is. And yeah, so literally just go through there, click through the link and then make sure you put in your executive club number and then you're on your way to earning more trips just from going on another trip. So the UK, UK way, way to earn Avios is actually just from your everyday bills because you might not realise this but there are ways to earn uh, uh, points, points just from like your utility, utility bills or pills that normally wouldn't uh, allow for credit cards. So for example, there's this site called Bill Hop here, uh, which lets you uh, do, it, do it through various different cards. So MasterCard, Amex, so you can get uh, you through BA Avios. Uh, card. So yeah, uh, it costs 2.5% uh, of the transaction, the transaction. Yeah. paying one pound forty on top of that just to pay with your annex instead. And the way it works is you just simply go on their site, you send up for an account, and then you uh, go, th literally just uh, you you pay them, and then they can either get you a, uh, a give you a wire transfer, and then they take all care of it all for you. And it's, it all goes through an online account. So Bill Hop is a very good site, which I wish we had here in France, but it's only available in the uh, UK, Sweden, and Italy, and a couple of other UK, uh, European countries, but not France. Mm. <laughs> so yeah, uh, that's, yeah that's pretty nice. Very lucky here, though. Yeah. <laughs> now we're going to talk about redeeming our Avios, because that's what we came here for, right? To get free trips. Uh, First option is very uh, a quirky one, which not many people know about, is to redeem for transatlantic flights on Aer Lingus instead of British Airways, and there's a good reason why. When you start your trip from the UK, you are hit with what's called Air Passenger Duty, or APD for short, which is a UK government tax. You can't avoid it. There's no way around it if you start your trip in the UK. However, if you fly Aer Lingus from, say, Dublin in Ireland, you avoid that tax entirely. And also, Air Lingus has much lower yeah. what we call uh, fuel surcharges. They're nothing to do with fuel, but that's the name they've got. We call them point yeah. in yeah. Uh, So, say for example, if you flew British Airways from New York, to, from London to New York, you're probably talking about three to five hundred pounds in surcharges, kind of fuel surcharges, which mm -hmm. is en enough to pay for a round trip economy ticket. So, what I do is instead is I for award space from Aer Lingus from uh, uh, Dublin. I'd love to try business, but I'm happy with economy. Okay, so, so if you're in, I've if you're happy with economy, business. then uh, yeah, Aer Lingus yeah. is definitely yeah. up your alley. Uh, I'll just pull that for this will be up to date one. Are they part of the One World Alliance then? Is that part of the Avios no, group or uh, do you have to transfer your points, did you say? Uh, yeah, Aer Lingus is not part of the One World Alliance, but they have a partnership with British Airways uh, independently. In order to book Aer Lingus flights, you have to call to book. Uh, but okay. yeah, in order to search availability, Expert Flyer. Uh, this is a paid subscription service which I use all the time and it saved me so much pain in the time past uh, because what it has is um, award space uh, availability search. So I'll put it up my account now. So I'm going to search uh, Dublin to JFK. You want to exclude co shares because Elegus has other partners outside of the uh, okay. system, which we can't use. There are four uh, economy seats on both uh, legs. And then when you call up British Airways, you say, uh, I would like to book a flight with your partner, Air Lingus. And then you say, here's my dates, here's my airline, here's my flight routes. Uh, and they'll uh, give you the quote. And it should be about, uh, if it's off peak, uh, you'll be looking at about 13,000 Avios one way. 
That's not bad. Otherwise, for peak days, it's about 16,250 Avios for a one-way ticket. Mm -hmm. Tax and fees uh, from, the, from Ireland is going to be about 60 to 70 euros, I think. Second option is to fly short-haul flights within Europe using what's called British Airways Reward Flight Saver. If you're flying short-haul within Europe from London or to London, you have the uh, tax and fees of your redemption capped at £17.50. Uh, where, versus wherever I'm about to go. So there's no APD charge, no crazy uh, taxes. You pay a flat fee, £17.50. For example, you can fly London to Nice, where I live, down the south of France, for 4,000 avios with just the sign of from your annex and £17.50. And because uh, BA is a distance based award chart, so the further you fly, the longer it, the more avios it costs. So for any flight up to 650 miles of distance, Paris, Nice, Milan, uh, uh, Dublin, those are where you can get for 4,000 Avios on peak. One little hack, uh, uh, pro tip I'd give you guys is uh, there's one reward flight saver which I'm eyeing up, which is actually, you might be really surprised by this, Jack, London to yeah. Moscow. Oh, wow, okay. And the reason for that is because British Airways flies a Boeing 777 wide body aircraft with a four cabin uh, configuration of economy, wow. premium economy, business, and first class. So effectively you can fly British Airways first class, have access to the Concorde room in uh, London Heathrow, and get all the first class perks. Option number three applies to those of you guys who have the Amer uh, applied for the British Airways American Express card, or actually have one already, and that's to get the companion voucher for if you're traveling with your uh, significant other, companion, friend, whatever, uh, and get a companion voucher ticket. The ticket lets you redeem two Avios uh, redemption tickets for the price of one. So if actually if Jack wants to, you fly from London to New York and pay uh, uh, whatever it is, Avios is, I think it's about 100,000 Avios return from London, and he, but he gets two tickets for the price of one. So you can directly take me, me with him if you want to. Good deal. <laughs> but uh, you have to hit the minimum spending requirements for that. So the company voucher, you have to fly, the rules are you have to fly from London, you cannot mm -hmm. go from anywhere else, so you have to pay for ABD, which is another reason why it's not as good uh, in my opinion, although it can be yeah. about, about, so good value for some. You also have to book return tickets, uh, but you can do what's called an open draw. Have you ever heard of that, Jack? Uh, no, I haven't, no. So open draw is a concept where rather than just doing, say, London to Hong Kong and back, uh, you can do yeah. an open draw where you leave a gap in the in the trip, which is the open draw. So you do London to Hong Kong, then on your yeah. own way it means, however you do it, so a low-cost carrier, or you can use Avios again through like Cathay Pacific to, on a cheap uh, Asia ticket, which is another way you can use them. Uh, so you go Hong Kong, Singapore on Cathay Pacific on a separate ticket, and then in the uh, you can go from Singapore to London uh, in the yeah. same ticket. So effectively your open draw is between Singapore and Hong Kong. So you, yeah. don't, you don't have that. Yeah. Yeah. So whilst you can't book a one way with your companion voucher, mm -hmm. you can book an open draw and then sort of work, work, uh, work Probably, your own. Yeah, that way. Yeah. So if you plan it in advance where you want to go, you can make it work. Yeah, so. definitely. Yeah. So yeah, companion vouchers are a good way to go if you want to travel with someone else. Uh, for me, it's not uh, best because I'm always traveling solo uh, quite, yeah. pretty much all the time. Uh, but yeah, it's definitely an option if you are if you're interested. Fourth option is domestic flights within the United States on uh, British Airways uh, partner airlines like American Airlines and Alaska Airlines because not a lot of people realise is that British Airways presents a, a arbitrage opportunity to actually get be uh, much cheaper redemption uh, tickets within the US uh, because it's a distance-based award chart and uh, flights within the US start at 7,500 Avios uh, for a one-way ticket, uh, for a non-stop ticket, and you can get much better value than even like American Airlines' own t uh, program, or even Alaska Airlines on uh, certain routes. So two main examples of that, it can be, you can fly Alaska Airlines from the west coast of the US, let's say Los Angeles, San Francisco, Seattle, Portland, Oakland, all these different west coast hub cities, and then fly to Honolulu, and only pay 13,000 Avios for the price of the ticket, which is a pretty good deal, and you're only paying $5.60 in taxes per person. So effectively, 26,000 26, Avios, which is the sign-up bonus you get from the British Airways black, black card, you're pretty much set. You've already got yourself a trip to Hawaii. And then to get from London to Los Angeles, you can just take a cheap Norwegian flight or a British Airways basic economy fare. And yeah, you're already set. You've you got yourself a, a holiday, two-week holiday in Hawaii, all for like three, four, 400 quid, whereas most people are paying 800. 
So you're already winning uh, by paying half as much as everyone else. Second option is to fly, say, from Los Angeles to Mexico. So the other day I was looking at uh, flights and you can go from Los Angeles to Puerto Vallarta, which is supposed to be a really cool city. I've never been myself, but I've heard it's really nice. So that would cost you 11,000 avios per leg. And you're talking about 50 to 80 dollars round, uh, round trip in tax and fees, which is not too bad, I say, um, for a, uh, I think it's about four hour flight. Um, but yeah, it definitely do, uh, also when you're looking at Avios flight tickets, definitely compare them to the cash tickets because you know sometimes you might find the cash ticket is better. But uh, always just uh, weigh up each one and uh, make your own choice depending on your preferences. And lastly, number five is very simple: is if you want to go somewhere specific and it's a very popular place, let's say Bangkok, uh, but you can't uh, find any uh, award seats available on straight from London. Why not widen your search? Instead of just looking for Bangkok, also look at uh, Kuala Lumpur in Malaysia, Hong Kong, yeah. uh, you want to look at uh, uh, Singapore, uh, you can look at all these different uh, hub airports and you can use your mm-hmm. Avios on uh, BA if you want to, to go down to Asia, uh, on not just BA but also there's Malaysia Airlines, uh, Cathay Pacific, Qantas, well uh, Qantas has a what we call a fifth freedom route from London to Singapore, which can fly uh, on their way to Sydney. Once you've gotten to these um, hub airports, you can go on a separate ticket from, let's say, uh, Cathay Pacific from Hong Kong to Bangkok uh, in economy, uh, and then you uh, get a cheaper ticket there. All the tickets are like 20, 20, 30 quid in taxes, I think, as far as I remember. That's not Um, bad. And the reason why that was is because I also did what's called Avios and Cash, because when you redeem for an Avios ticket, you are not just tied to pay just the 4,000 Avios um, because mm-hmm. see here, uh, there you can see that there's more pressing options. Mm-hmm. So we click this and then you can see, apart from the 25,000 Avios option here, we can pay nice. more cash, yeah. but less Avios. So effectively, what, actually what you're doing is you're not spending less Avios, you're actually buying the Avios back from BA yeah. Yeah. To, and then paying more cash on top of that. Uh, so you can run, you can run the numbers yourselves uh, to see if it's of good value. A lot of times it is. Uh, a lot of my best redemptions are actually using this option. So, for example, mm-hmm. when I flew Qatar, uh, Qatar Airways from Nice to Muscat uh, back in April, I used 9,550 Avios instead of the 17,000 it would have cost if I wanted to pay full redemption. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I ended up paying about 250, 300 euros in cash, which to me felt like, like it because I, uh, the full cash fare was 800 euros in economy. Oh, wow. So yeah. <laughs> so in that case, I, I was willing to, yeah. pay, to part with just over, mm-hmm. just under ten thousand avios to reduce my cash uh, cost in total. Uh, definitely um, worth it. <laughs> definitely worth it. Yeah. And there you have it, guys. Those are the top five ways you can both earn and redeem British Airways avios if you're based in the UK. Uh, yeah, definitely. I uh, hope you guys enjoy this video. Uh, if you, let me know in the comments. Do, do you plan to co- start collecting avios if you haven't done it before? Uh, if and if so, are, are collecting, let me know where you want to go to with, with your uh, points. Uh, love to hear you guys in the comments. I always read every single one. If you enjoy this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up because it really helps me out. And if you want to see more of my content, be sure to subscribe to the channel. And yeah, I'll see you next time. Ciao.